do not play a game called Ships That Fly Underground. Seven years ago, I backed a Kickstarter for a game called Descent Underground. This looked promising. It was a reboot of the Descent franchise, a franchise that I love. It only made $600,000, but I threw $25 at it anyway because I wanted this game to succeed. I didn't even have a steady job at the time, so it was a really bad idea to throw money at it. About a year later, we got a playable demo. This looked promising. The multiplayer was working. The game was great. The devs were promising a full single-player campaign. It also looked promising. To make it work, they got under a publisher, Little Orbit. Little Orbit then proceeded to ruin everything about this game. It got really close to release, but then they said, oh, we're not satisfied with this product. They then proceeded to sue the developer, Descendant Studios, in a lawsuit that lasted six years, draining the developer of all their personal funds and nearly all of the funds of what the game had left. After settling the lawsuit, they proceeded to drive a dagger into everybody's back because now Descent Underground is not even Descent anymore. It's this new game called Ships That Fly Underground. Don't laugh at the acronym of that. You will certainly not think it's funny when you hear what they've done to this goddamn game. They've taken Descent, stripped it of all of its personality, and then on top of it, they've decided to use this as a platform to shill NFTs and blockchain technology. This is technology that has absolutely no place in video games. Many developers have already sworn it off, including Steam, which has flat out banned it. This is not the game that I backed, and it's not even a shell of what it used to be. You took a franchise that I love and perverted it to shill NFTs and blockchain crap, which you know has absolutely no place in video games. This blockchain shit already nearly destroyed my channel half a year ago when some hacking shithead hacked into my channel to try and shill crypto. Everything you hear about crypto and NFTs nowadays doesn't even fucking go anywhere and usually ends up being a goddamn scam. I assume Little Orbit knew that it was going to go this route too, seeing as how they disabled comments on their trailer because they knew exactly, exactly how the public would react to it. The fact that nobody's talking about it is evidence of that itself. Well, now I'm talking about it, and I'm telling you not to play this game. They took what was going to be something great, and they ruined it. They keep saying, oh, it's gonna be two separate games, the one on Steam isn't even gonna have NFT crap. No, you've already shamed it with this. You took it in the backyard, put it down, and then put its shredded corpse on display for all to see. If all you did was change the name and branding of it, I would have been, all right, yeah, no, screw it. I still get a sixth off game, but you've done this. Incorporated technology that has ruined so many lives and nearly destroyed this channel. The original Kickstarter video I made is gone, and it will not be coming back, and I'm liable to boycott the entire publisher if things don't improve. If they canceled all their plans for the NFTs, I'd play it, no question, but they haven't. I will have absolutely no part of it. Do not play this game.